prize. Woo! You are. I'm so thrilled to bring you this. I got a chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it down. Offer to 
dog sent my pit bull Cody. And, and I remember <laughs> last March when he rapidly bit off all your toes. I mean, I just feel guilty. I mean, it's just too nice. Who needs all their toes? Everybody. Everybody, everybody needs all their toes. Everybody wants all their toes. You took flesh from your body. He bit flesh off of your body, and then you still offer to dog sit him. That is too nice. It's, it makes you angry. It's just a misguided pup. No, we need you to go to this treatment center. It's, there's a treatment center. Uh, it's the Sydney Valley. It's run by out of work actors who sit in traffic all day and then teach you how to be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dick in there. <laughs> a little dick. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know, I can, I can tell you guys did your darndest on this, and I would just, I really hate to let you down. Just, just try being an asshole for a while. It feels really good. It really does. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I, can, I can do that. No, 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 this is, this is bologna, okay? I can't do this, I mean, I, I do my best to shine your guys' shins whenever I can, and this is how you repay me? I, I mean, sheesh, guys. Yes, sheesh! <laughs> I'm not doing it, okay? I reject your nice guy intervention. And that's the only thing you had to do to pass. Congratulations, Bill. You're kind of a dick. Like, really? I guess I am kind of a dick. I did it, Mom! <laughs> oh, fuck you guys! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I think I'm an attracted to you now. <laughs> Yeah. 
Chester Johnson's disease. 
<laughs> but first, President Chester Johnson in a sex scandal this week that shocked the entire Chester Johnson administration and the world at large. Here with me in the studio is President Chester Johnson's chief of staff, Chester Johnson. Chester. Thank you for having me, uh, Chester Johnson. Now, sir, I know the last thing that you want to hear right now is Chester Johnson. Are we still talking about this? <laughs> Chester Johnson being put up for a six-night stay in the Hotel Chester Johnson in Tel Aviv, the same six days that the president was in Israel negotiating peace between Chester Johnson and Palestinian leader Chester Johnson. I'm going to cut you right off there, Chester Johnson. Listen. Chester Johnson, the President Chester Johnson's record is not on trial here. President Chester Johnson was on the ground in Tel Aviv negotiating peace between Israel and Palestinians. Whatever Miss Chester Johnson. But how do you explain that the president paid for Chester Johnson's trip? You can't expect Chester Johnson, the plumber, somewhere to believe I that am sick and tired of pundits like you spitting Chester Johnson, the plumber, like some kind of pastiche of the American people. You don't know what the American people want. American people want a better economy. They want jobs. What about the man upon my guest this morning? Chester Johnson. <laughs> His mother, Chester Johnson, paying for heart medication on Medicaid. What about Miss Chester Johnson in Nebraska? Single mother, three girls, youngest one, Chester Johnson, trying to go to John's Chester Johnson University on scholarship so that she can become the next Chester Johnson. Chester Johnson! You are dodging the question, sir. Is this going to be the legacy of the Chester Johnson administration? Now, we all know the president fancies himself as some sort of modern-day Chester Johnson. I would say that that's a fair comparison. I mean, hey, I think President Chester Johnson belongs on Mount Rush Chester Johnson. <laughs> that's a reach, Chester. We'll let the public decide that. We're going to take a short break. But when we come back, troubled Hollywood starlet Chester Johnson and a shot who endorses politician Chester Johnson? That and more when Political Conversation returns. <laughs>
update about my life, my wife has just left me. Now, despite my high-pitched voice, I am hanging on by a thread. <laughs> my life is in a deep downward spiral with no way out. <laughs> President Obama is still resoluting resolution, I'm sorry, 238-P that will increase small business investment. Folks, you know who didn't invest in something? My wife with our marriage. And she ran off with a Puerto Rican man whose hips were loose as a Christmas goose. Folks, I am one bottle of Jameson in the seven day waiting period away from ending it all. <laughs> Speaking of ending it all, Russian riot group Pussy Riot is still seeking legitimacy from Russian President Vladimir Putin. Folks, Speaking of riots and pussies, whenever I tried to have sex with my wife, it was like throwing a soup can into a hive of homeless people. <laughs> I'm not even sure about that last one. <laughs> well, speaking of homeless people, the Los Angeles Urban Development is still deciding how much funds to allocate towards soup kitchens. Speaking of decisions, Folks, the only decision I have left in my life is which spiced meat to get on my nachos outside the taco truck. It's either al pastor or chorizo. All right, that's it for one from Santa Monica in the AM. Tune in tomorrow with guest host Hubert Steven as I will hug myself in my wife's lingerie.
get that radio fixed. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> 